In this video, we will understand the theorems related to a cyclic quadrilateral. Let us understand first what is a cyclic quadrilateral. A cyclic quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides such that its four vertices lie on a circle. After knowing what a cyclic quadrilateral is, let us continue with the theorems related to it. First theorem of cyclic quadrilateral states that sum of pair of opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary. That is, sum of angle A and angle C equals 180 degree and sum of angle B and angle D is also 180 degree. To prove this, consider point O as the center of circle, join point O to point B and point D, resulting in the formation of angle BOD at the center. As by theorem, the angle subtended by the arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle, we conclude angle BOD is twice of angle BAD. Now for reflex angle BOD, using the same theorem we conclude, reflex of angle BOD is twice of angle BCD. On adding these two equations we get LHS as sum of angle BOD and reflex of angle BOD, which forms complete angle and equals 360 degree, while RHS becomes twice the sum of angle BAD and angle BCD. On simplification we get 180 degree equals sum of angle BAD and angle BCD. Now to prove the other pair of opposite angles as supplementary, join point O to point A and point C. Again using the same theorem, that is, the angle subtended by the arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. We conclude angle AOC is twice of angle ADC and reflex of angle AOC is twice of angle ABC. Again on adding these two equations we get 360 equals twice of sum of angle ADC and angle ABC. On simplifying we get 180 degree equals sum of angle ADC and angle ACB. Hence the sum of opposite pair of angles are proved supplementary. Moving on to the next theorem. The second theorem states that the sum of all interior angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is always 360 degree. To prove this, we just need to add the result of the theorems already proved. That is, the sum of opposite pair of angles is supplementary. On adding the previous results, we get LHS as 360 degree while RHS is the sum of all interior angles. That is, sum of angle BAD BCD, angle ADC and angle ABC. Hence the sum of all interior angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are proved 360 degree. Moving on to the next theorem. The theorem states that exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. To prove this, extend segment CD of the cyclic quadrilateral to point E, resulting in the formation of exterior angle BCE. Now sum of angle BCE and angle BCD equals 180 degree as adjacent angles on a straight line forms linear pair. Also sum of angle BAD and angle BCD is 180 degree as opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is supplementary. On subtracting these two equations we get on LHS angle BCD cancels out angle BCD while on RHS 180 cancels out 180 which on simplification becomes angle BCE minus angle BAD equals 0. On transposing we get angle BCE equals angle BAD. Hence exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle. This was it for the video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching.